In this video, we're going to show you how to replace the fuel pump in your Toyota Tacoma. This will be located inside of the gas tank. Let's get started. We're going to install the jack under our fuel tank. We don't want to really put any upward pressure on it. We just want to hold it. Using a 14 millimeter socket, we're going to remove the bolts for the fuel tank straps. We're going to remove the clips for the pins for the fuel tank. These are going to bend out and then pop off. Do the same thing on the back one. Remove the clips. And now we'll remove the pins. After moving the tank strap around and hitting the pin a few times either way, we're able to remove the pin and the tank strap. Do the same thing in the front. Remove the pin and the strap. Using a 12 millimeter socket, we're gonna remove the bolt for the fuel neck bracket. Push the bracket over to the side. And using a 10 millimeter socket, we're gonna loosen the clamp for the filler neck tube. Get the clamp nice and loose. Yours shouldn't look like this. We're gonna to have to replace this clamp. Remove the filler neck. I'm using a small pick to help me work it off. Pop off the filler neck. Next thing we're gonna do is this yellow clip. On either side, we're gonna open the claws. Using a pair of pliers, we pinched on those two blue tabs and pulled the line off of the hard tube. We're gonna slowly go down with our jack and start to lower the tank. We still have a few things to disconnect. If you feel anything get hung up, stop. We're gonna to go to right about there. To remove this plastic clamp, we're gonna pinch the two sides and then pull straight back. Remove the hose. We have one last thing we have to disconnect and that'll be the connector to the fuel pump. We're gonna go slightly down on the tank We're gonna remove the top for the fuel pump. There's a lid covering protecting the connector. Remove the fuel pump connector. There's a tab right on my thumb. You're gonna push on this, pull straight up and remove the connector. Remove the plastic lock from the fuel lines. Pull straight down. We're gonna have one more lock on each of these lines. Once you have the locks undone, we're gonna press on these two tabs on either side and pull the line off the plastic line. Be sure you have a collection bucket under you before removing these lines. Some fuel will come out. Do the same thing on the other line. Push on the two tabs. Remove the line. Go down with the jack. Double check as you're going down, make sure nothing is connected.
remove the fuel tank from the vehicle. We're gonna open up and pull back on these yellow tabs, push them out to the side. Pull straight back, remove the clamp. Do the same thing on the other side. Remove the locking tabs. Remove the fuel lines from the top of the fuel pump. Now we're gonna pull them out of the mold on the tank. We're going to put these fuel lines to the side. We're going to use a fuel pump ring tool to remove the fuel pump retaining ring. As you're removing the fuel pump ring, we're gonna have to push down on these little tabs as they go around the fuel pump. So you can remove your fuel pump ring. Remove the fuel pump. Remove the old O-ring for the fuel pump. Install the new O-ring for the fuel pump. Install the level sensor onto the new fuel pump. Install the fuel pump into the tank. Be sure that the fuel pump O-ring is fully seated and then push the fuel pump down to meet it. Install the lock ring. Start to snug it down. Position the pump in the way it was when we took it out. As you tighten the ring, hold the fuel pump in place. Get the fuel pump tank ring nice and tight. Remove the caps. Install the hard lines into the molded part of the tank. Install the line into the fuel pump. Install the locking ring. Do the same thing with the other fuel line. and we're ready to install our tank. Install the connector for the fuel pump. Push and see you hear a click. If you don't hear a click, give it a pull. Make sure it's locked on. Continue going up on your tank. Install the cover for the fuel pump. 
install the vent hose onto the tank. Once you have it installed, pull back, make sure it's fully locked on. Install the fuel lines onto the hard lines. Push the lock up into place, give it a pull, make sure it's locked on. Do the same thing on the other line. Make sure it's fully clipped in. Install the plastic lock over the two lines. Go all the way up on your tank. Double check the filler neck. Make sure it's in the correct position. Install the line onto the filler neck. Get the line fully seated. Snug down the clamp. Get it nice and snug. Install the small line onto the metal line. Make sure it's fully locked on. Make sure the lock is in place. Install the 12 millimeter bolt for the bracket. Ours is broken, so we will not be installing it, but if you have it, go ahead and do that now. Install the fuel tank strap into the vehicle. I put a bit of copper anti-seize on our bolt. Get the bolt started. We'll go to the front and do the same thing. Snug down the fuel tank strap bolts and torque them to 46 foot pounds. Install the tank strap into the bracket. Get the pin through it. I put a bit of copper anti-seize on our pins before installing. Install the clip, push it straight on. Now we'll do the same on the back strap. Remove the jack out from under the fuel tank, and you're good to go. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.